look at this AP. It has the common difference D equals 4. Label this AP as 1. Now add 3 to each term of the AP denoted by 1. We get a sequence we can denote by 2 as shown. Note that the resulting sequence 2 is an AP with a common difference 4. We can see that if a constant is added to each term of an AP, the resulting sequence is also an AP. Now, subtract 1 from each term of the AP to get a sequence of numbers denoted by 3 as shown. Note that the resulting sequence 3 is also an AP with the common difference 4. So we can see that if a constant is subtracted from each term of an AP, the resulting sequence is also an AP. Let's multiply each term of AP3 by 2 to get a sequence of numbers denoted by 4 as shown. Observe that the resulting sequence 4 is also an AP with the common difference 8. If each term of an AP is multiplied by a constant, then the resulting sequence is also an AP. Now, divide each term of AP4 by 8 to get a sequence of numbers denoted by 5 as shown. Note that the resulting sequence 5 is also an AP with the common difference 1. We can see that if each term of an AP is divided by a non-zero constant, then the resulting sequence is also an AP. Hence, all the properties of an AP can be summarized as shown. Consider an AP with n terms as shown. Let's find the sum of the n terms in this AP. Denote the sum of n terms of AP by Sn. The sum Sn can also be written in reverse order as shown in equation 2. Now add equations 1 and 2 term by term. We get the sum as shown. Note that each term in the last row is written as the sum of twice the first term a and n minus 1 times the common difference d. We see that the terms in the last row add up to give equation 3. On simplifying equation 3, we get the sum of n terms in the AP given by equation 4. In fact, Equation 4 is the formula obtained to evaluate the sum to n terms of an AP. This method of reversing and adding the terms of an AP was given by Gauss. Observe that in the formula the terms within the square brackets can be split as the sum of the first term and the last term as shown. Therefore, the sum to n terms of an AP can also be expressed with reference only to the first term and the last term. Hence, the sum to n terms of an AP can be evaluated using the formulae as shown.